<laughs> and I guess that's a good point to make. The date on the compact itself for the chapter zero won't necessarily match the chapter ones. This will get passed first. And then once this is in place, then each chapter will get its own date. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is aspirational, but just for this, not for yep, the chapter. Gotcha. <laughs> that's good. Are there commissioners? Are there any, how many chapters are in the existing? Compact. Well, it varies depending on, on which ones you consider expired or not. But there was there was quite a few. There was um, the library, uh, the health board. Well, that wasn't actually a compact, but it existed. Um, there was GIS, IT, dispatch, uh, solid waste, but that one's going away. Um, I think the highest number I saw was seventeen. Yeah, but they weren't all active. They weren't all active. So, but I think there was like seven or eight active ones <clears throat> when it expired. Essentially. But we're still operating under most of that guidance today. When did it expire? Very easy. Yes. Again, <laughs> that, that's one of the things that we're trying to clean up is to make it a little easier to, to understand. But some of it expired 10 years ago, some of it expired last year. Some of it's probably still in effect, depending on whether you determine that the base compact needed to be updated or not. And so there was a there was a lot of ambiguity in it. Um, I don't know where this sits in. Uh, I've been in the commission for fifty years. <laughs> uh, when I first started, it was over in the old building, and we used to meet on a regular basis between the city and the county in a nice big room there. And uh, I always thought that was good. And then through the years, it kind of dissipated. So I don't, I don't know what the thinking is now, but I enjoyed that camaraderie that we had many years ago. And uh, at some point, it, it, it changed. And uh, so I think it's good that we're looking at this. I don't know all the answers to it, the why for it, but uh, um, I always thought it was just good to have good relations, you know, the county and the city. And we had it then, and uh, kind of dissipated through the years. So that's where I am with it. I agree. I think there was issues from previous managers, not Mike, but previous managers about us meeting and talking about mutual things and maybe having agreeing on without going through the management process. Um, I was part of that too, Mel, and um, I'm all for it. I really am all for it, but it's uh, it would work good then, but it would put a stop to by the, the manager at the time. Yeah, I think 47% of our county's population lives in Livingston. So we mm -hmm. clearly have a lot of work to do together. Right. I appreciate you all coming to the table. And I think, as Mel said, it would be nice to see this happen more often. I would like for us sure. to work together because we are so intertwined that I think it's really important, so. Yeah. So in the interest of moving things along, I would like to, um, I do, since we have some folks that are online and in person, I want to give the public a chance, even if we're not taking action today, I want to give the public a chance to get feedback on where we're at in case anybody came to talk to us. So I'm going to open it to public comment and we can still have time to chat after if we know. So, anybody online or in person that wants to give comment on this agenda item, please feel free. Now's your time. Very quiet. Sometimes it takes a second on Zoom. So, I like to <laughs> give people, sometimes it takes a second in person also. But nobody has anything they want to chime in on? I'll say something. Okay. Please, can you just I think introduce that, I think your name and your no, address okay. for the record? Thank you. Gordon Alley, 2105 Park Road. And uh, I think that they, this, this is an extremely important document. And it's nothing to be taken lightly. I think the, 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 the subsets within the document are just as important as, as each other. And I agree with uh, Mr. Berg um, joining uh, the two 
councils meeting together and coming together and, and get set up. I think that's that's great. I think the uh, I'd like to just finish to say that since I've been here, I've been here since 2013, and uh, messaging has been probably the biggest issue that I've seen both the city and the county. Messaging, having a clear message, a joint message, maybe not a joint message, but a clear message to the public on what's going on. Surprises you leave up to the public to make their own decision on whether it's a good or a bad one. If they're informed and you pummel them with the information, they're able to make the decision and at least come to some kind of an agreement within themselves, not necessarily with the commission, but uh, uh, messaging, I think, is probably the most important thing. Okay. That's it. Thank you, Gordon. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else that wants to give a comment? Looking online also. That chat, that chat's not anything. No one has to know. Oh, okay. Thank you, Faith. All right, then we will close public comment. I don't know if you have anything that, do you have anything you need people to sign? I got everybody, in, almost everybody. Okay. In. Okay, great. So, commissioners, if, if we want to deliberate at all, I know we're not voting on anything, but this could be a good chance to talk to about um, anything on this document that I know that we'll have a chance later after Chair Caldwell's back. But if there's anything, any flags you want to raise or any things you want to bring up now too, I think that it's appropriate. I can start us off too. I can, um, I'm really excited about this update. I think we have a lot of shared interests and a lot of um, a lot of overlapping goals in our various foundational documents. So I'm really excited to find out um, what we can do together to serve our greater community. And as it was already stated, this document's long overdue for updating. Um, my only first initial thought is I do think that the commission, the city commission should be signers on this document. I think we should really take ownership of the uh, compact um, as something that the commission is agreeing to also, not just the executive branch, but um, the policy making branch. That would be my only feedback at this time, knowing that we'll have time to talk more about it later. Other commissioners? And if you don't, that's okay too. I just wanna make sure that folks have a chance to say what they wanna say. Nothing for me. Everybody's good? Nothing at this time. Good? Okay. Excuse me, this is Erica Strickland. I was, I'm sorry, I couldn't call in earlier, but um, the agreement talks about Appendix A for the format. Is there, um, is that going to be attached to complete the document? Um, it talks about point um, 20, I think it's 20, or 19. Yeah, it's 19. Yes, it will be attached. Um, it is based off of this agreement, so it's not included yet until the agreement's actually decided on. And then once, because it's based off of the items in here. So if the items change, then the format will need to change. But we can certainly include the draft with it. So the next round, we'll have the, sure. a draft of Appendix A. Okay, thank you for that. Okay. So I think we're done with this action item and let's move to um, comments. So city manager comments. I have nothing additional. Uh, city commissioner comments. We'll go through the regular order. Commissioner Lyons. Uh, it's nice to meet both of you in person for the first time. Um, we've spoken on the phone before. But yeah. I don't think that you and I have had the opportunity. So it's a pleasure. Indeed. Um, I hope that next time we all get together, we have a little bit more to go over. And um, glad, just glad to, to start this conversation. So, thank you. Commissioner Freeman? I'm all set. All right. Vice Chair Kim? Um, again, just I'm really glad that we're coming together to work together as two commissions. 
around this and hopefully other things as we move forward. So thank you for coming over today and, and joining us and hopefully we can do it again. I would echo what all of my fellow commissioners have said. And thank you so much for coming to City Hall. I hope you get to look around when you're here and check out the photos of historic Livingston. Yeah, the, it's loaded with beautiful photos. So I hope you get a chance to see um, the work that the staff has put into this building. And thank you for meeting us here. And now we'll move to um, County Commissioner comments. So Commissioner Tinsley. Well, likewise, um, it's a pleasure to meet all of you face to face. And it's, uh, I think this will turn out to be a good thing for sure. Kind of excited about it. Yeah, thanks for having us over. Um, so I've been in this five and a half ish years now. And in the first year, we met a few times with the city commission over at MSU Extension. And then it hasn't happened for some time now. So I think this is good to get reacquainted, really good. And I just wanted to throw out that, um, oh, let me see, 119 years ago, Teddy Roosevelt rode in town on a Pullman car. And that was when he had an arc to dedicate the arch. And the rail has been a big part of Livingston into the 80s, I guess. And um, kind of a railroad town. Just look at that big spot in the middle, the other side. Um, and uh, Park County is one of 18 now counties, part of the, that, that have joined forces to create the Big Sky Passenger Rail Authority. Lake County joined last week. And uh, we are allied with our neighboring states as well. And the vision is to have rail service on the North Coast Hiawatha line through Southern Montana just like it was in 1975 when I hopped off the train down here, uh, right in downtown Livingston. So we've got quite a bit of uh, traction. And, um, <laughs> and August 23rd and 24th, we're putting together a Northwest Rail Summit in Billings, Montana. We'd love to see you all come. Uh, we are working with Amtrak, uh, Burlington Northern, uh, the Rail Passengers Association. We've got the attention of the Department of transportation in DC and um, it's, it's actually you know gaining some steam I'll we'll try to cut, <laughs> cut the analogies at, and, oh I, I hear a train of coming there you are but you know rail is um, old and new and it's an incredibly efficient way to travel around you look at uh, challenges getting across Montana in the winter for instance uh, so we've got a real shot at bringing it back, and we would love to share more information with the city of Livingston on how you can uh, track and participate. And uh, I'm on the board, and we'll be sharing uh, some things with you soon. Thank, Thank you so much for your participation. And anybody who wants to see the picture of Teddy Roosevelt at the end of yes, right uh, on the back of that Pullman car. Yeah. Uh, you have yeah. a, an enthusiastic um, spokesman for me as well. I, uh, have a PhD in transportation planning. So I got to talk. <laughs> uh, public, public transit was actually what I wrote my dissertation on. So oh, that's awesome. very excited. Let's that. keep it to the agenda, folks. <laughs> <laughs> BigSkyRail.org. BigSkyRail.org. You can check it out. Thank you so much for the update. We'll look forward to it. Um, you have more information in emails and an email about the event you that you want to share with us. Feel free. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready for a motion to adjourn. <laughs> all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all for being here. You bet. How do we do? Yeah. Okay.